Oh, hello there. This is Slavkowski. Slavkowski Homes here with Mike Ampetis of Proper Rate. We are in downtown Donners Grove at the Foxtail. Uh, we both love the Foxtail, uh, and Donners Grove has so many great choices for lunch and dinner. Uh, you have the Wasabi, you have Pierce Tavern, you have uh, Barchito, uh, Capri, Giamia for lunch. You have the Outpost, Alfredo. So whatever your taste buds are longing for, downtown Donners Grove has you covered. So come on out and uh you know support the businesses today i'm having the uh, tuna poke bowl mike what do you have i'm having the burrata wedge which is my favorite awesome yeah great food here uh one thing we we're wanting to discuss a little bit is a little bit about the real estate market and the mortgage industry so uh this year 2022 has been up and down uh we started off the year with a lot of uh, shortage of inventory lower interest rates however interest rates started climbing and uh, we have been expecting inventory to increase. It's increased a little bit, but not at the pace uh, that we we're hoping to. Uh, the one thing that's very important if you're a seller is the buyers are still out there. Well, with the higher interest rates, higher monthly payments, uh, well, they're taking their time a little bit, right? They're being a little choosier. So it's very important to you know price your home according to the market is currently and this may not be the time to push the price to see if you get it because we are also seeing a lot of uh, price reduction recently because of that. Buyers, hey, there's uh, still a great time to buy. Home values are expected to increase over the next five to seven years. So it's, you know, if you wait another two, three years, well, it's still going to cost you more to make that purchase. And once interest rates come down, well, then you refinance and you have a lower monthly payment. And since we're on the topic of interest rates, Mike, what are you seeing right now with the mortgage industry? Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head there where uh, when we're talking to clients now that are interested in buying, it's you know taking advantage of where the rates are right now that are a little bit higher. And then the hope is, the general consensus is that in the next six to 12 months, interest rates will come down and we'll be able to refinance you. And in most cases, we could do so at no cost for our past clients. So we never want to let the cost of refinancing prohibit you from doing so. Uh, the Fed is uh, expected to raise interest rates by uh, three quarters of a point next week, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the long-term rates, meaning 30-year fixed mortgages, are going to go up by that amount. It's typically the Fed funds rate, which is basically what banks borrow from other banks overnight. So if you have a home equity line of credit that's based on prime, that's going to go up by three quarters of a point. But the 30 year fixed long term rates, we're hoping that those increases are already built in. Um, so interest rates might not even go up at all. Um, so that's kind of what we're hoping. Fantastic. Uh, and one thing I think people should uh, you know, keep in mind is have a perspective on uh, the historical aspect of interest rates. Uh, sure, they're higher than they were a year ago, right? But if you look at it historically, uh, five and a half percent is still very low. I remember buying our first house in the late 80s, we paid 12%. Right. Uh, and we were so excited when we refinanced for eight. For sure, so, for sure. Uh, yep, it's a little bit higher. However, it's still, I mean, think about what people are paying for car loans, credit card interest. Mm -hmm. uh, you compare a uh, home mortgage to that, it is very affordable. It is, yeah, and it, it, when I got into the business 21 years ago, interest rates were at 8%. So right now, being in the high fives, maybe 6% on a 30-year fix, the cost of, of borrowing money is still really uh, inexpensive. And I think it's good to keep perspective. So taking a look at the historical analysis of where the 30-year fixed rate has been in the last 25 years kind of helps people uh, take that into consideration and realize that actually um, rates are still pretty low. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, one last thing I'd like to ask you before uh, we get our lunch. Uh, one thing I'm noticing right now, the you know, market's getting back to normal, starting to see things like home to sell, home to close contingencies. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing pre-approvals right now, are you seeing more of that come into uh, play? Absolutely. With your applicants? Yeah, absolutely. I think the market's normalized in that regard where uh, if you are buying a home and you have to sell your existing home in order to buy something new, uh, a seller might be more agreeable to that. And I'm seeing that more now in the last month or so, um, in, because I think the, the market is just stabilizing, right. and uh, and that's more normal than it should than it's been in the last two years for sure.
Well, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate uh, all Thank your you. info. And remember to come out to downtown Donner's Grove, uh, great restaurants and shops out here. And if you have any questions on real estate or mortgage, contact either one of us. And remember, Slav loves local. And uh, Mike, thanks again. Thank you. All right. Have a great day.